28. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so in this case, we have two LiOH solids plus a CO2 gas yields Li2, a CO3 solid, plus H2O gas. Okay, so in this case, we just have to find the change in entropy and change in entropy is a delta, that's a change value, final minus initial, of S. And since we're using standard data, right, we're going to a back of a textbook, that's this appendix G, we have to find delta S notch. The notch always means that we're using textbook values, standard values. And that's exactly what I did. I went to the back of the textbook and I found out the S values for each individual component here. So for lithium hydroxide, it's 42.8. Carbon dioxide is 213.8. Li2CO3 is 90.17 and H2O is 188.8. Just make sure that you're finding the number for the gas one. Don't be tricked up that, you know, you accidentally put H2O liquid. This one calls for the gas. So we need that exact value. Now, what are we going to do with these values to get an actual delta S for the whole entire reaction? Well, that's this formula right here. The delta S for the whole entire reaction is always equal to the sum. So this just means sum. You're adding, right? Sum of all your products minus the sum of all your reactants. So it's essentially products minus reactants, but we have to add them up, right? So we have to add up the total on the product side add up the total on the reactant side, and then just subtract. Now, are these numbers going to be the same or are they gonna be different? Well, just know that all of these values are always for one mole of the substance. Sometimes you might have two, three, four moles. That just goes by the balanced equation. So you have two LiOHs, but you got one CO2, one Li2CO3, and one H2O, right? If you don't see any, um, coefficients in the front, that always means that you have one. And technically, you always multiply what you got by your S value. So your 42.8, since you have two LiOHs, you have to just times this by two. But all the other ones, since you only have one of them, right? You had two of these, one of these, so it would be the same, but I'm just showing you that you just multiply it. This would be the same because you have one of these, and then this would also be the same because you have one. Now it's the sum, literally it's LiOH plus CO2. So it would be this value plus this value. Li2CO3 plus H2O. So this value plus the 188.8. Let's get those total values up. So I'm gonna do the, the reactant side first. 42.8 times two plus 213. 0.8. And I get 299.4. So 299.4. For the product side, I get 90.17 plus 188.8. I get 278.97. Those are your totals on both sides. So let's now just plug them into our formula. The delta S for the whole entire reaction is product 278.97 minus the reactants, which is 299.4. Okay, let's see, delta S for the whole entire reaction is 278.97 minus 299.4. And the answer here with correct sig figs, I see that I only have one a sig fig after the decimal, so we should only have one sig fig after the decimal. So it'd be negative 20.4. And then units is the same units as what the, the S values are in the back of the textbook, which is joules per mole times Kelvin. And that's it. Okay. So not too bad. What did you think, guys? 
Let's just be done coloring. Beautiful. I, I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out and tell your friends. We also have physics and math videos on the channel. So maybe we can help you with those subjects. Maybe you have friends or classmates that need help in those subjects or in chem. Love to help you guys out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.